Hello everyone, this is Nicholas of West German BMW. I'm really excited today in our showroom to be showing you the brand new BMW X7. This is an all new model for 2019 and it's a model that I've been hearing about for the past three years that customers have been asking for, especially in the Northeast where we are located. If you don't know, this is a full size three row SAV based on the X5 platform, but with a lot of extra standard features and goodies. Start off, let's go with some dimensions compared to the X5. This is about nine inches longer at 202 inches. It's three inches taller at 71 inches. The wheelbase has also been extended by five inches to 122 and the width is about exactly the same. Now this is a full size three row and I'm gonna show you in a bit because I can fit back there just fine. I'm gonna go through all the buttons to control all the seats and basically just explain everything about this vehicle. So some differences, we have more of a seven series like side we have much bigger kidney grills. Different roof racks. So you can see this compared to our X5 in the showroom. Very similar design language, just with more chrome, more luxury. So some of the big differences that we have here. This vehicle has standard two axle air suspension which is gonna give you a more comfortable ride compared to the X5. And as you can see here, you can actually set to its lowest setting, which makes getting in and out or storing things in the rear easier. LED lighting is standard with laser lights as an option, which is what this vehicle is equipped with. Active kidney grills, iDrive 7 with CarPlay is standard, just like the X5. Comfort access is standard. And these are the 22 inch wheels where 21s are the standard size. Trailer hitch is an option. You get up to 7,500 pound limit. Also as an option is the off-road package like the X5. And then something that's not available on vehicles of this size usually is the five zone climate control, which gives you control in all three rows as well as a third row heated seat. Now this is the 50i, which is our twin power turbo V8. This does zero to 60 in about 5.2 seconds. The 40i, which is probably gonna be the one that most people buy, does still does zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds with 335 horsepower. Now this is an Arctic gray model. You can get it in M Sport, this is not the M Sport. So let's go over to the sticker real quick. So this is a 19X7 50i, Arctic gray, like I said. This has the ivory white with night blue merino leather. It's probably one of my favorite options they've come out with in a while. Um, the cold weather package, which is gonna give you front and rear heated seats, as well as those armrests and the five zone automatic climate, which is a big deal. Premium package, which a lot of people are gonna want because the remote engine start. We have the soft closed doors and the electric window shades. The executive package has the panoramic sky roof, glass controls, adaptive LED lights with lasers. Design pure excellence is what they call the non-M sport. Everything is in satin aluminum and it gives you that ambient lighting. So you have that aluminum trim. We have those 22 inch wheels I spoke about, $1,300 option. Display key is 300, the leather dashboard is 12, individual trim at 1,000, a bunch of included things like automatic high beams, multi-contoured seats for the 50i, live cockpit pro, and this model is at a loaded $106,000. Let's just do a few more passes. I'm gonna go over the inside. 
M Sport will give you that typical M Sport, more aggressive fascias in the front and rear, as well as blacking out the trim. You can see we have this massive rear door. Give you a look of that night blue leather with the ivory white. This model is equipped with the bench seat. You can get a second row captain's seat, which will give you two seats with two armrests at a small upcharge. Then everything in this car is electric for convenience. I'm gonna go through some of the seating options. So we have our front seats, a beautiful merino leather with your stitching. I just can't say enough how much I love the night blue. And there's our individual wood. You can see there our ambient lighting, which if you've seen any of my other videos or any other videos of the X5 and 7, you're probably familiar with. The lit up crystal controller. Start button in crystal. Do we have our air suspension? You have to close the door and then you can raise the vehicle up. So you'll see, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Our live cockpit. All the buttons are in metal, just like a 7 Series if you've been in one of those. You can control the second row seats from the, from the front. You can move them back and forth. Also, if you lock the windows, then the other rows cannot be controlled by your passengers. All right, let's go take a look at the trunk and the seating. Split tailgate, just like the X5. Like the new X5, electric fold down for the second. Now this is a different, is that we have a carpeted lining. And because we have the night blue, we do get in a, like a blue suede cover, as well as a blue suede headliner. And then there's a shot at our five zone climate control for the third row and then our little sunroof, which helps make it feel a lot less claustrophobic. So this is the storage you'll get with all three rows. You know, it's pretty good, especially if you're just hauling people. You got a little bit of storage underneath. And then here's some of the buttons. These will independently control each seat and each row. Second row two, back row two, and then these are our max. This will do max passengers which is what it's set to right now. And then we could do mass storage. So we click that. This is all run by the same motor. So the seats will fold. Then our second row will fold. try to give you a sense. Look at all of that space. So whatever you're hauling, you know, you bought new furniture, whatever the case may be, this should have the room for you. And then, like I said, these control independently. So if I wanted to just bring up just the second row, I can pull these guys up. Now the main thing with this being electric, you just gotta have a little patience. You push it down, push it up, just give it a second and it'll go right up. So that's probably how most people will have this vehicle, unless you're always bringing in five plus passengers. But this is what the storage will look like. You have a lot of room to store everything you need. But let's pull these back up and I'm gonna show you what it's like to get in the back.
So usually, all you're gonna have to do is hit this button right here, you just tap it, and the seat will do its thing. Now you do have a little handle here to getting in and out. These two buttons here, which will be on each side, will actually fold these seats down. So if you need to press this to fold them down. So just mind me for a second as I hop back in here. Headrest, flip up. So we have the seat, you just press that same button, just hit it back, the seat will do its thing. It's our awesome sunroof. So there we go. And then, so this is as far back, so you know, I could use a little bit more room. Just press the button once, and then we can move it forward. Look at that. Plenty of room for the passengers in the second row, and plenty of room for me. I'm a little over six feet tall, and I'm very comfortable back here. You could definitely fit two full-size adults back here. And then we have access to USB-Cs. You have a USB-C over here, so you can always be plugged in. You have your heated seats, we have our own air, we have our vents, so we could be comfortable. And then to get out, same thing, press the button. Let it do its thing. Mind me while I get out. Again, grab your handle and then just step out. One button press. You also have access to the window shades and the back sunroof. The seats for the passengers, they can move them back and front themselves, as well as the tilting function. Again, this can be locked by the driver with the window lock button. Back here will be familiar to anyone that's seen a new X5. We have our USB-Cs here, USB-C, our adapters for iPad holders, coat hangers, anything like that. There's a look at our awesome Sky Lounge. Whatever color set to the ambient lighting in here will be set to the Sky Lounge. You have thousands of little etchings in the glass that glow at night. It looks even better at a full night sky. And then I'm going to harp on this again. The beautiful white ivory with the blue leather. It's just everywhere. And then we have our blue suede headliner that I would, I would have to order this. Cup holders in here. If you get the captain's chairs, the cup holders will be located right here because this spot will be empty for two armrests. You can get your two screens for the rear entertainment package if you so choose. This also is a great driving vehicle, just like the BMW brand, every other vehicle is known for. It's just a lot larger than anything I've ever made before. But if I had to choose, this would be the perfect car to travel in with seven people. Thank you guys for watching. You'll be seeing some videos coming up shortly. This is as the new 850 convertible. There's a coupe and then the new Z4 has just landed. So look out for those guys and have a great night.